The gloves were off this past weekend at the DA camp after two former DA leaders, Tony Leon and Musi Maimani, had a fiery exchange. This came after Tony Leon, in a sit-down interview for his upcoming book, Future Tense, called Musi Maimani, an experiment that went wrong. Musi was quick with this reply. He said, hey, Uri experiment ki mang waitla khisa ibila watella inklik unjwela gadi i'm a human being not your science study well, Leon's sentiments launched an avalanche of backlash and many political figures came to Musi's defense with these Uma Helen, I can't believe I said Ma. <laughs> Helen had this to say. For me, the real experiment was the attempt to leapfrog three election cycles between 2016 and 2019. That mad experiment, which crashed badly, was cooked up by three white males, one of whom was American. Kels was trying to come through there. Anyway, <laughs> Floyd Shivambu didn't mince his words with this. Experiment that went wrong isn't the thing the slave owner deep levels of racism which refused to recognize black people as human beings. Musi was certainly a collaborating puppet, but to call it an experiment, it's open, unadulterated racism that undermines all black people. Mm. And the last tweet from Herman says, Tony Leon has gone too far this time. I know and reject that he doesn't represent the majority of peace-loving non-racial South Africans. Mm. Mo, I, know, I can see your fingers are tapping. You're ready for a comment. <laughs> what do you think of all this? I mean, here's the thing. If you look at the history of the DA, right, particularly with Tony Leon, mm. it is actually quite disturbing to hear him say these things mm. because the DA has positioned itself now from where it was before as a party for all. They've come out strongly when you look at, you know, gunning for the black vote mm. um, and even some of the, 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 the areas they've won via election and so on. Now, all of a sudden, you have a former leader who I believe still has influence in that party, even though he may not necessarily be active, saying something like that. It almost makes you wonder about what's been going on there. Is what the DA is standing for now just a charade? I is mean, it just a smokescreen? Yeah, the answer is yes <laughs> for me. Personally, I feel like uh, I don't think they're unraveling. I think this is what they've always been about. Um, I think they used the, the getting the black vote, speaking in Banak, getting leaders like Musi and, and Mbali uh, to, to hide their real intentions. This has really always been what the DA has been about. I don't think they're unraveling. I think they're finally exposing themselves. And Musi, sorry, babes, but we've been trying to tell you all <laughs> along, this is what the DA has been about. I'm so sorry I hurt your feelings, but it shouldn't really be surprising. Uh, come on. Yeah. You know, when, when, when these things come out with these political parties and everybody starts rallying around and saying all these things, and I'm just like, guys, this is a dirty game. Everyone is playing. We are pawns. The fact that we spoke, we're speaking about them right now uh, is making them happy because some people are getting happy from other factions or other parties that we're coming for this party. But the whole thing is a dirty game. Musi was playing this very dirty game and he got burnt. And other people from other parties are also playing. We've seen people actually being oust at other parties as well because they played the game. It didn't work out for them. So, hey. Sure. I also think Checkmate. right now it pays to be outright. You know, the DA <laughs> was going with the like non-racialism, which isn't a term that even makes sense. Mm. And now it pays to be outright. So mm. sorry, Moose. Moving right along. Uh, acclaimed British actress, famously known as Tandy Newton, has announced that she'll be reverting back to her full Nguni name, Tandiwe, after years of it being misspelled by the film industry. Tandiwe has been very vocal about racism and abuses of power she faced over her nearly three decade long career. Mm. The actress who graces the May cover of British Vogue said in the interview, I'm taking back what's mine. And she continued to say, the thing I am most grateful for right now in the business is being in the company of others who truly see me and to not be complicit in the objectification of black people who are seen as others, which is what happens when you're the only one. Mm. So many people on the timeline lauded her for embracing a full name. With do Masibanda weighing in with this. Good for Tandiwe, reclaiming your name, your identity and your story is important for all of us. And then Umiz Zamandlovu said this, said Tandiwe Newton's story is resonating with me because from workplace to workplace, I've had to fight for my full name. Why is your surname in your name? Then it gets shortened to my nickname. Sometimes I just get tired, even though I don't like seeing it shortened on signatures. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I feel sorry for Tandy, first of all. Um, I definitely understand and relate to the story because I think for the first time, she's now knowing what it's like to be a black person. Tandy kind of 
is a mixed race and she lives in the line where people don't really see her as black. She's always had white friends, um, white relationships. Um, so I think for the first time, maybe with Black Lives Matter, the conversations that are happening around Meghan Markle, she's also quite surprised to now be in the space where she's like, oh, I have to confront the blackness and what it means mm. and learning about her other side and her identity mm. and being Tandy and what that means. And that our names to us aren't just what a fluffy thing that they call us. It's a history, it's a story, it's a lineage, and it's a plan and a hope that your parents have for you. So now ah. she's finally getting there. Listen, oh, I, could I, go on for a long don't, time. <laughs> I don't agree at all. And <laughs> listen, okay, I partly agree with some of the things that you've said about it's important to find your identity. I get that. But we need to also consider that these are people that have PR managers that are in Hollywood and those people have been naughty from the beginning what? of time. <laughs> this, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying that I'm seeing a trend where it's now cool to be associated with Africa, where it's now cool to be an African. We see it Wakanda forever. We're seeing Beyonce coming through. And most of these people that are doing these things, guys, are monetizing them. And for me, I, 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 I don't get it when people are now talking talking uh, about this whole thing, when we had people like Talib Kweli, we had people like Most Def, who were about their Africanness and, and moving it, but it wasn't cool enough for all these people to come through and be part of this continent. So it's... Uh, I, I, I'm going to give her the benefit uh, of the doubt. And I believe it can never be too late. If Tandi wait. has now decided that this is the moment to find out who I am, mm -hmm. to find out about my roots, then go for it. Look at people like Samuel L. Jackson. He had a whole documentary, Enslaved, right? Where he went to his roots on the continent, I think it was Gabon, to find out who he is. So it's never too late. And if Tandy wants to make a whole movie about it, a docu, go ahead and do it, babe. I, I just... do have one thing to say, even with that point. Sometimes in this industry, first of all, you're not allowed to speak out. Mm. Otherwise, you look like the angry black woman all mm. the time. And second of all, sometimes it takes a long time to know thyself. If I was surrounded by white people at school, I was called Lee for a long time. I only realized later, Actually, I want to be Lesukho because it means so much more. And it took me a long time to get my voice out. I just wish that Musi Maimani changes his name to Tandy Newton so that he can get <laughs> this support on this table. <laughs> because he went to the DA and came back and found himself. With